Hey, hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jordan North and I'm going to be doing a customs loot guide uh, for new players coming into the game who just want to know what to loot, where to go, um, and pretty much get used to the layout of the map. Um, what I always suggest to people is um, doing some offline raids or off, um, yeah, offline raids with no uh, PVE enabled. You don't want to be fighting up against scavs while you're learning the map. Uh, but the general gist is um, learn the map, get a, get a there's some great sources for 3D maps from above so you can sort of see the layout and just get used to where you spawn in, where the extracts are and the best routes to go before you really play. Uh, so right now this is trailer park here, storage up here. Uh, the first thing is for the early quests you do have to get five Salewas. One of the great places in the boot of this car, there's a med bag that you can um, potentially get Salewas in. Uh, I wouldn't really bother with anything else in storage. Big red building. This is big red or customs um, building. And it is super, super contested early game. You usually get people that spawn over down by that train track while simultaneously people spawn over down by trailer park while at the same time people spawn up by the top of storage as well. So you have three groups of people potentially trying to come for the uh, one spot or go for the, the kills on each other and it can get a bit, a bit hot and sweaty but if you do manage to survive or if you're here uh, this uh, room here requires this customs key uh, the customs office key um, building um, in here you've got a room with three computers a potential pack of spawn and a duffel bag here so you've got your three computers here uh, these can spawn graphics card in them. In the front of them, just in that little bit by the USB, you can get USB pens. You can get Packers uh, armor, soft armor spawns on there. Not too great. And you've got your duffel bag here as well. When you come to here, always be aware this is a breach only door. So um, the only way to get in is to kick it open very loud. You've got a jacket here. Um, this patch is insane for jackets, guys. If you, if you find a jacket, pretty much check it because you can get some of the rarest keys in the game and that's some easy money again this safe in this corner is highly contested you get bitcoins um, statues and uh, all sorts of things here uh, do check on the top of here there is a key it's not very valuable but you may as well pick up anything you can and there is a this is the spot where you do the proper quest where you need to come to the customs uh, manager's office fighting for it so much more important guys to uh think right i'm spawn on that side i'm gonna try and get some kills and spot and loot over at big red uh, much much better and then maybe even go along through inside construction and get out that way especially always always be willing to change your plan listen to the where the gunshots are coming from if you're coming in with a gun and you want some fights go towards the gunshots if you come in with minimal and you just want loot and you want to get out and extract then avoid the fight so avoid the gunfire guys it's a very simple game uh, once you sort of understand that and um, sort of play it play it slow and safe right this this is an offline raid so there's not going to be any players uh, there's no ai in this one because i'm sort of showing you the general um looting style so this here is dorms three-story you come up you come up on it from about here uh, just over the road from it there is dorms two-story there's some plenty of plenty of uh, rooms in here to loot uh, what we do is i'll show you like the, the pretty much the ideal looting uh route so you want to come straight to the third floor and right at the end of this hall you have the marked room the marked room is uh hold up Guys, if you're enjoying the video and you are interested to find out more about what I'm doing, please hit that subscribe button uh, and the ding dong bell. Give me a thumbs up. Comment anything you'd like me to do next. Uh, I'm hoping to cover pretty much everything to do with the, everything that I'm learning on Escape from Tarkov as we go. Uh, I'm going to be doing guides on all of those things. So if you do have any suggestions, things that you'd like to see personally, drop a comment below and I will make sure to get a video out about that. Thank you so much and let's get back on with it.
one of the most contested or rarest places because you can open it up and you can get anything spawn here you can have weapons cases you can have red key cards you can have um, all of the most valuable things in the game can just spawn in this room right now we've got an as val an ak-74u and a drill it's not the best loot but you know especially if you're doing a hatchling run or some uh, you not have you don't have too much on you these usually come with ammo in them so about half sp5 so if you came in with no gun or with like a pistol and then you can hear footsteps you can literally get it go and wham you're uh you, you now have gear as well um out on this roof here is a little bit dangerous um so this is a, a definitely an optional one what i suggest is if you stand up when you get to here and then when you press the search so the f key hit um x just after it so hit your lie down key just after and you'll lie down while looting it's the only way to do that you can't uh, lie down before because if you lie down before i'll show you what happens so if i'm lying down and i search it will just automatically make me crouch so always hit lie down just after um so one more room on the top floor here and that is just behind this bookcase thing here this room this is also a quest room for the Golden Zibbo, I think for Skia. Um, the Golden Zibbo spawns there. You have a little uh, weapons box down there and nothing else really in here. So you want to head downstairs and you've got a few rooms on here. On the other side of this, you've got uh, this room here. So this is the 204 key. Uh, sorry, I'll go through the, uh, the keys there. Uh, so in that last one, it was 303. So the 303 key is the quest room up there. The marked room key is the marked key. Uh, this one is the 204, is it? Yep, 204 key. In here, you've got a safe at the bottom of there, a little weapons box there. You can loot the safe up. So, like, with, with safes, you can get some really... Like, I've never seen this before, and I've played this uh, for quite a while, so it's a new uh, rare item you can get from a safe there. Uh, you can get bitcoins, you can get all sorts of things from these safes, so it's always worth, if you're here and you've got the key, loot, loot, loot. And over here, you want to come around into this room here. Uh, if I go back room, but there's a little weapons crate here again. Very highly um, valuable things, like a red gun powder is worth a little bit there. Some of the new um, weapons that you can get in the game there, that's pretty good. Then, let's have a look at items here. I usually try and use these, I've found so many nice things, I've found like three or four hotkicks, I've found um, silencers, all sorts guys, definitely worth. If you're here, and there's no action, and you've looted everything, there's well give these a little loot. Because just with these, you can pretty much play your gamma and get out with some mad profit. Uh, uh, I do believe uh, there is some jackets, so if you do want to go for like a even further loot, you can check all the jackets in dorms uh, and all the fine cabinets, like this one here. Uh, this FPS spawns a factory key, which is really good early game to have that. It's also worth about 155,000 or 152,500 from Therapist if you wanted to sell it there. Um, keep... She usually gives you the best price, don't bother selling it on the flea market anyway. Uh, the next room is the guard desk, which is the G desk. Uh, key. This one opens here. Inside you've got two ammo boxes and a weapons case and a spare weapons rack here. I do generally, I do check these just because I have found some nice ammo in these before. Um, not PP, you don't really want that, or PRS or PS, you don't want any of these ones. Uh, but if you get BT, BP, Action SX is not bad, it goes for a little bit of money. Uh, again, you just want to kind of think about what you can get the best uh, payday out of. Uh, M80 is not bad and leave that there and then finally the weapons case so as you can already see just from looting a little bit we're already sort of uh, up to a fair amount of money uh, which is pretty good um, all the way along here inside there is a weapons case uh, you can loot that and then you come along to here and then you've got this one on your left and this one on your right in here you've got this is a again a quest room you get a med case thing on the top of this safe uh, for therapist, I believe. So it's it's worth getting these keys early on in the game, to be honest, and not and not dilly dally. And if you can find them by looking in filing cabinets, scav backpacks, and um, jackets, then you're pretty much onto a winner. Uh, you've got a a computer there and a med box there as well. In this one, you have I think a safe. So uh, just down here, yep. Yeah. You got a safe down here. That's lovely. Uh, it seems like there's something a spawn on that bed as well. Wow! Look at all these valuables, dude. I never get this lucky in an actual raid. 
But yeah, definitely uh, the, this this loot run. If you can if you can get a couple of kills along the way as well, you're pretty much laughing. Uh, so with the diary, that's a trade item uh, that's actually worth a little bit of money. So that's not too bad at all. Uh, lastly, for this, I go around and in the back of this one. So one thing to be aware of with this, uh, if you're new to the game, the top door here doesn't open on this side and the bottom door on that side doesn't open. So you either have to come in the bottom of this side um, to loot these two build these two rooms here, uh, or this one room here, or you have to go in the top end of the other or in through the center front door. Uh, you've got a safe down here. Always remember guys uh, to keep hydrated as well. Obviously that's a... Uh, a nice little aspect of construction. Um, so just over there is new construction. This is old construction, I believe. Um, and the this building here is a quest room, which is it's just key with a black handle. And that's the portable cabin key factory, factory custom zone. Uh, you need this for a quest. Um, there is also a weapons case in here that has some nice, uh, nice loot spawns in it potentially. Just on this desk right here. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. That's your, that's your um, I, quest item you need to escape the raid with. And that's that looted. <laughs> Now you can literally go all the way around if you don't want to fight. Uh, so this door here is your factory key. So the reason you want a factory key inside here, which is just factory exit key, is because it actually opens this door, funnily enough. Uh, there are, again, if, you, if you're not pushed for time, there are some pretty decent loot spawns here. run into a bunch of scavs and die. Uh, this door here is a gas station manager's office key, which is just this one here. It's called gas station there, or it's called cabinet key. It's just the normal key with the black handle. And it unlocks this. Inside here, you've got a safe and a couple of loose spawns. So you've got your safe here. couple of rubles in this one looks like then you have I think on the desk or on the floor here you can the spawns a key uh, which can some I think it's for um, shoreline you've got a weapons box just there uh, inside here there used to be something on the desk I don't think there is now and you've got a duffel bag here this door here is for storage <clears throat> which is sim looking key it just says the key to the gas station storage room so very simple this is the gas station storage room and you've got a med spawn in here so if you're running low on meds it's always handy to look for the med spawns uh, for your stash especially now you have to heal yourself after raids uh, these are really good for the hideout you can trade them in for a grizzly uh, <laughs> So checkpoint, the one that says checkpoint key, military base checkpoint key, a key to the military base checkpoint gatehouse. That's this one here. This one has a grenade box, a ammo box, and a weapon spawn down here. Uh, always handy to have grenades, guys, if you want to throw a bunch of stuff and blow some people up. Um, lastly, or not lastly, second to lastly, in the jacket of this car, you can get salewas. This is like a med, this is a, a med um, jacket. So you get Ifax, Salewas, Grizzlies, all sorts spawn in this, the back of this. This is like the, the doctor's car potentially with a... box. 
common in certain computers, like if they're behind locked doors. This is Smoke Shack. Uh, down here, you have a factory checkpoint key, the factory um, that factory exit key that I'll just use to get through. You have a weapons case here. And secondly, you have a weapons case up this one, to the left, here, wham. Okay, and that is pretty much the entire loot guide spawn that I would suggest for people uh, when it comes to customs. Use that how you will, um, whether it's in a linear line where you just go from start to finish, or if you start somewhere, loot up and then try and extract uh, completely up to you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Oh, that was in there.